I don't know about you, but when I encounter difficulties in my marriage, with my kids, with my finances, difficulties anywhere, I get so upset and then I cry out to God and I expect him to immediately do exactly what I say to solve the problem for me in the way that I think it should go. And then when that doesn't happen, now I'm in the pit of despair, right? Have you been there where you're in despair, you're feeling discouraged, defeated, perhaps now you're just wallowing in self-pity and we're all so surprised like, what? I'm a Christian. Things should be going well for me. I mean, I'm supposed to be just blessed all over the place, right? Well, Jesus says in John 16, 33, in this world, you will have trouble. Oh, drat. Yes, we will have trouble. And yes, Jesus often is going to bring something really good out of the situation eventually, and he, he does have a masterful plan. But here's something I've learned in those moments where I'm feeling like I'm in the pit of despair. I try to pause try to pause and remember to ask Jesus, what are you trying to teach me in this moment? Because often there's something valuable that God wants to teach you in that moment. Romans 5, starting at verse 3 says, we rejoice in our sufferings because suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his Holy Spirit. Okay, I know this is not exactly what you wanted to hear, but it is true. In those moments when you're feeling discouraged, defeated, overwhelmed, just questioning, God, why is this happening? Try to remember to pause. I'm trying to remember to do it. We could do this together, right? And ask Jesus, what do you want me to learn in this moment? Is there something you're trying to show me? Do you want to teach me to rely on you and, and just to trust in you? Do you want me to seek um, help from someone else because maybe I've been like fiercely independent and I don't need to rely on anybody else and God's saying, no, it's time for you to humble yourself and ask for help. Or maybe he's saying, hey, I want you to step out courageously and confront someone in this situation that needs to be confronted because they're sinning against you. Whatever it is, I bet you, I just bet you that God wants to teach you something. And when you move out of that pit of despair because now you're willing to be teachable, ah, good things are on the way.